Today on Stupid Fast RC, we're looking at a very large boat with a largish kind of problem. What if you get out on the water and it stalls? Ah, I know, you could just do this. Yeah, that'd work. Stupid Fast RC. <laughs> Today on Stupid Fast RC, I'm going to run you through one of my pet projects, which was putting an electric starter on this gas boat. Now, if you've uh, had a, a brushless boat, this is probably not the most exciting thing you're going to see all day. However, if you've had a um, gas boat, slightly different story. Now, one of the problems with having a gas boat is if it stops out in the middle of the lake, you've got to go swim for it. Um, and depending on where you are, that could be a real problem for you. So I saw this electric starter on a um, Baja or Baja, depending where you're from or how you like to pronounce that. And I thought, well, no real need for it on there, but on the boat, yeah, it's a real value. So I bought it and um, it was a lot harder to fit than I thought, because first of all, the motor didn't screw straight onto the front of my marine engine, which it had a totally different size um, drive shaft it had a totally different fitting on the front so the first thing i had to do was work out how i was going to do this and it was a lot harder than i thought um i thought that what i would do was mount it on a rib inside the boat and to do that i made a cutout out of paper to see if i could get this to fit in there and uh, that was the first step i then made one out of cardboard and put that in there to see if it would fit and my next step was to make one out of marine ply. So I've used six mil marine ply, which is the same marine ply as in the boat. Um, I used a Dremel to cut that out. Um, the Dremel's got um, router tools, um, and I've actually got a very interesting blade. I probably could have cut the marine ply out with a whole bunch of things, but I got this little um, saw blade for the Dremel. Now, um, that was awesome because you can cut uh, straight lines with that really easily and the second tool that I had to get was this router tool for the Dremel as well so um, that made cutting this board out really simple and making any sort of changes to it it then slotted in very nicely into the front of the motor um, there was originally a 12 mil socket on the front of the starter motor I had to change that to a 14 interesting thing about quarter inch drive th sockets is that uh, they only really normally go up to 13 mils and so I had to buy a dodgy toolkit that actually went up to 14 mils and uh, then I was able to change the front of this so I could actually fit it all on so that was a bit of a story in itself the second challenge was the electronics and that was designed to have an off uh, switch at one end and uh, the starter run off the other end of your, uh, of your throttle travel. So um, the cutoff actually cuts off the electronics and shuts the motor down and then full power to this from an ESC. Now I managed to blow the ESC up because I put a bigger battery pack in there than was required and um, this, was, this engine was a little bit difficult to start and that um, caused the thing to overheat and blow up. Um, so that was unfortunate. So I got myself another larger ESC and rewired that. Um, now I've got a 5 amp um, pack and 30C on 11.1 volts, which drives this thing beautifully. Um, and uh, now that the engine's starting a bit easier, it's not overheating. And I'll show you that as well. So that was all good. So depending on how excited you are about your gas boats, this may or may not be uh, exciting for you, but I've got to say, I found it very exciting after having to swim for these boats several times uh, in the past and um, managing to get this to work out in the water was very exciting. In the process of making this video, I lost a GoPro off the front of this. <laughs> not the happiest day. And also uh, tore the prop off by hitting uh, a buoy in the water, or a buoy, depending where you're from, once again. Um, which was unfortunate. I went onto a lake where there are normally sailing boats and this quite clearly is not a sailing boat and they had I was weaving my way through the buoys and uh, managed to hit one. Hmm. Anyway, stuff happens. Enjoy the video and we'll see you next time. <laughs>
that is strange.